you're too busy to follow a carnivore diet, I'm here to show you otherwise. Hi, I'm Jen, and if you're new here, I am delighted to meet you. At the beginning of 2023, I changed my status from full-time to part-time as a physical therapist in a trauma hospital. And I do all of those part-time hours on the weekend. So my weekends are jam-packed. I typically wake up a little before 4 a.m., hop on the treadmill, and on the treadmill, that's where I do some reading, some responding to comments on YouTube and Instagram, and responding to emails, listening to podcasts, stuff like that. It's 5.30 a.m. and I'm about to head out the door for work. I'm just gonna grab some food for breakfast and lunch, both of which I will eat actually at work. I usually start my work day at 6 a.m. For breakfast, I have three hard boiled eggs and a one third pound burger patty. I eat them at my desk while reviewing patient charts for the day. I made all this food the previous day. How I made the burger patties was I just took a pound of ground beef, flattened it out into three different burger patties, salted both sides and cooked it in the air fryer first for four minutes and then for three minutes after flipping and that was at 400 degrees. For the boiled eggs, I used the 555 method, which means I put the eggs in the bottom of the pot, added one cup of water, cooked them on high pressure for five minutes, then let them sit in there with natural release for five minutes, and then immediately put them in an ice bath for five minutes. The best thing about using the Instant Pot for boiled eggs is that they peel so easily. Both of these foods are really portable, easy to prep, and not messy for me to eat with my hands at my desk. It's a great breakfast for work. For lunch, I had some ground venison with crispy beef fat and a little bit of bacon mixed in for flavor. Just like breakfast, I eat it while sitting at my desk and working. This meal actually requires some utensils but I can still eat it while working. I made this meal by browning some ground venison on the stove and I crisped up some beef fat in the air fryer. Most of the fat I'm using here is from the grocery store. I get it from the meat cutters for free, which is a great way to save money on a carnivore diet. But I, a little bit of the fat was actually left over from a date that I had. I made him a steak and he cut off all the fat. So I saved it and I also think maybe he's not the one. Once the fat was brown and crispy, I took it out of the air fryer, which by the way, I cook it at 400 degrees for about seven minutes. And the bacon I also cook in the air fryer about seven to eight minutes as well. Then I just chop both of those things up and add them to the venison. Over my lunch hour, I went for a walk to get some movement and some fresh air and some vitamin D. And then after work, I came home and reverse seared a ribeye. It was so delicious and so filling. I honestly couldn't even eat it all. The next morning looked very similar. I got up super early again, hopped on the treadmill, did all my emailing and social media stuff, grabbed some food and headed to work. Breakfast was boiled eggs again, as well as some leftover ribeye from the night before. I'll tell you what, cold ribeye really hits the spot and is perfect for breakfast any day. I actually left work early to head to my hometown for a family birthday party. On the way there, I ate some homemade beef jerky. And then when I got there, I ate four burger patties, but I had such a great time with my family including my 82 year old grandma that I completely forgot to take any video of the food I ate. When I got home from the party, I roasted a whole chicken in the oven for dinner. Here's how I made it. I preheat the oven to 425 degrees and rinse the inside and outside of the chicken with water. Once I pat it dry, I cover it with salt and then put it in the oven for 30 minutes with breast side up. After 30 minutes, I take it out salt the other side and put the breast side down and cook it for an additional 40 minutes. The final product is so delicious with really crispy skin and none of the sugar, water, or chemicals that they put in the rotisserie chickens at the grocery store. This is a pretty good example of a typical weekend for me. I often am eating on the go and prepping my food ahead of time so I can just grab and go. I eat a lot of things with my fingers and a lot while I'm multitasking. I'm totally okay with that. I have no problems with it. And I love that the food is so delicious, really nutritious, and very, very simple. I hope you found this information useful. If so, please like and subscribe and catch me on Instagram. We can connect there every single day.